Chronic myeloid leukemia is a type of cancer that begins in the blood-forming cells of the bone marrow and then spreads to the blood. Eventually, the cancer spreads to affect other organs of the body. In the U.S., about one person in 526 will get chronic myeloid leukemia in their lifetime. The average age at diagnosis is around 64 years, and more than 50% of the cases are diagnosed in people 65 and older. Approximately 4,500 to 5,500 people are diagnosed each year in the United States with CML. Chronic myeloid leukemia is caused by a genetic defect, but this defect is not inheritable. To elaborate, chronic myeloid leukemia is caused by the swapping of DNA molecules between the chromosomes, which leads to the formation of a gene called BCR-ABL. This gene produces the BCR-ABL protein, which is the main culprit and causes the target cells to grow and divide out of control and spread throughout the body. Chronic myeloid leukemia has three phases, chronic, accelerated, and blastic. The symptoms tend to vary in nature and severity based on the particular phase of the leukemia in which the person is. Chronic myeloid leukemia normally progresses from the chronic phase to an accelerated phase and ultimately into a blastic phase over a period of time. Chronic phase is the earliest and easier to treat phase in which the person might not even have symptoms. In the accelerated phase, number cancer cells increase in the bone marrow and blood and the person may suffer with fever, tiredness, night sweats, loss of appetite, loss of weight, spontaneous bruising, and pain in the bones. This phase can also be associated with changes in the vision, ringing sensation in the ears, periods of confusion, and stroke. In the blast phase, or acute phase, the cancer cells outgrow the residual healthy blood cells and platelets. In this stage, the symptoms are more severe, such as recurrent infections, spontaneous bleeding, swollen glands, lumps on the skin, and bone pain. For making the diagnosis, a complete medical history, clinical examination, and review of symptoms is necessary. Complete blood count is conducted to check the number of white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets. Bone marrow test is done to diagnose the cancer activity and to find out how advanced it is. An abdominal ultrasound or CT scan gives information about spleen size, which enlarges as the disease progresses. Polymerase chain reaction test identifies the BCL-ABL gene, which is involved in the process of producing cancerous blood cells. The treatment goal is to kill the cancerous blood cells and restore healthy ones to a normal level. Imatinib, a tyrosine kinase inhibitor, was first introduced into the clinical trials in 1998 and has radically changed the treatment plan and prognosis for CML patients. In the treatment of chronic myeloid leukemia, tyrosine kinase inhibitors, or TKIs, are given first as they slow down the production rate of leukemia cells. Some commonly used TKIs are bosutinib, dasatinib, imatinib, and nilotinib. Other treatment options include chemotherapy and biologic therapy. Today, chemotherapy does not have a routine application role and is used only when the TKIs have stopped working. Chemotherapy can be given if the chronic myeloid leukemia is in the blast phase and as part of preparation for a stem cell or bone marrow transplant. Biologic therapy uses a medicine called interferon to help boost up the immune system. At one time, bone marrow transplant or stem cell transplant was a standard treatment option for chronic myeloid leukemia. Currently, majority of the patients diagnosed in chronic phase are manageable with TKIs and routine bone marrow transplant is not needed. There are several criteria to evaluate the necessity of transplant, which include the phase of the patient's disease, medicine tolerance, and the treatment response. In fact, the disease is effectively cured in approximately 70% of chronic myeloid leukemia transplant patients. For those that relapse, TKI therapy is the preferred course of treatment. For more information on chronic myeloid leukemia, list of expert doctors, hospitals, and ongoing clinical trials, please visit www.expertdocs.com.